In this video I'm going to make a coax cable to connect from my television to my satellite receiver. So this cable we have here is RG6 which is a good quality coax cable. It's thick and what we're going to do is cut this end so that the connector here will go onto this cable. Now if we look at this connector it's actually marked, I don't know if you can see this on it, but uh, PPC which is the manufacturer of this type of end and if we turn it around down here we can see EX6 which is indicating that it's for RG6 cable. Now RG59 is an older type coax cable and the easiest way to distinguish the ends for the RG59 cable is that one end of it as you can see here is smaller this end than on that end and if we hold the connector for the RG6 next to it you can see that both ends of the RG6 connector are wider and that's because this end here that's going to go on the cable is going to be thinner for the RG59 the older style coax cable as that cable is thinner so one end of the connector is threaded there's threads on the inside of this and the other end is not threaded and that is the part that is going to go onto the coax cable and we're going to compress it with the method that we're going to use and the tools I'm going to use today onto the cable so this would be an end here similar to what would be on the uh, coming out of your uh, wall plate or your satellite receiver or whatever and the connector goes on like that and just threads on there but we're not going to be working on the end that threads on. We're going to take this end and put the cable in it. So just to get that out of there. Just to get a look at the connector itself again. We'll lay that here. This end here is going to be connecting onto the coax cable. So firstly we want to cut that straight. There's a bit of an angle on this. So I'm just going to cut that cable so that the end of it is relatively straight. And then I like to take it and just kind of squeeze it with the pliers so that the insulation, the white part there, is kind of basically not compressed too much. So then you're going to have a cutting tool and these come in all sorts of different variations. You can get them at your local hardware store or electronic supplier or whatever. You take the cutter, position the cable so that it's at the end of whatever style of gauge you have on the end of the cutter. So I'm making it flat with the case in the case of this cutter with the black end on here. Now there's inside this tool, open it up here. Hopefully you can see the blade in there. And that's going to cut two different ways on this cable. First it's going to cut the outer casing as I turn it and then it's going to leave the insulation so I'm just going to hold the coax cable and just move that a little bit I could have gone a couple more times around but I tend to like to just wiggle it a little bit and get the end off so now what we see is we have the conductor in the middle here our insulation which is the white part and then we have our outside braided wire so I'm going to move this 
take that braid of wire, push it back over the end of the coax, and you really want to have a look at the end of the coax and the insul white insulator that's there because we don't want any of these braided wires getting around this copper end because that's going to ruin the cable. So we take the braided part, push it back over the cable itself and by that I mean the white exterior here in this case maybe take your fingernail and just kinda double check make sure that none of those little braids are in on the white portion there because they can get wrapped around this copper conductor in the middle and if that happens your cable is not going to be any good so just push it all back like that then take your RG6 connector as I mentioned before with the compression part not the threaded part put that over the end of the cable push that on I just kind of twist it and push and have a look as you're doing it what you we want to do here is move that white centerpiece of the cable so that it is flush with the see if I can point to it here with the inside of the connector so when that happens if you hold it like that from a side view you'll see a bit of that conductor sticking out the end so that's good there then you're going to take your tool for forcing this connector onto the coax cable because right now it's just loose there for instance if I pull that back out I see my con my conductor going back in so it's it's uh, it needs to be forced onto that cable now in the case of this tool we're going to take the end with the hole in the tools put the copper conductor into that lay it flat and then just push this handle down and that will force this to compress over the cable and hold it in place so if you watch this silver portion where my finger is you're going to see that go down on the cable and compress to about that point there simple as that take that end and that's not coming off so now I'm going to do the other end cut it flat across take my needle nose pliers flatten that out a little bit place my cutter on there making sure that the end of the co coax cable comes out to the guide Turn it around to do the cutting. Maybe one more time. Open up my cutter to get rid of the ends of the cable in there. Move the braids back, as we said before. I'm just repeating the process. So there's nothing new going to happen in this part of the video. Just doing it again in case anybody missed anything the first time. 
making sure that there's none of that braided cable in there touching our conductor take that RG6 end put it over the end of the cable and push that down as we said until the white insulator comes flush with the inside portion of the connector take the crimping tool compress that down and now we'll connect it and see if it works so I have a satellite receiver and I've just taken the old cable off lost the signal and we're gonna try putting our fancy new cable on and this mess here I'm actually gonna do another video soon about how to clean up an ugly mess like this and put a proper wall plate on anyway this is my coax cable going to my satellite receiver take that off I'm gonna put a new bullet in there this is a called a bullet by the way just connects from one cable to the other put a better quality one in there as I say I'm gonna put some good quality ends in this cable in another video and we'll put a wall plate on that and show how to do that and then I'm gonna take fancy new cable that we just made I'll screw that on at the bullets clockwise to tighten it and take my needle nose pliers and I'll just tighten that up later on too so that's connected there and that goes to the satellite dish, as, as I say, or that could, would be your cable TV, whatever supplier you have for your television. And the other end of the cable, obviously, is going to go into your receiver or your television, depending on what type of configuration you have. And there's our new cable in the back of the receiver. And there's our television working. So, that's it for this video.